Thanks for stopping by our channel today. My name is Robert and this is Pheasant Lane Farm. So last night I was getting ready for bed, brushing my teeth and the phone started going off. I got a notification from YouTube, which I thought was strange for a number of reasons. First, the notification said that for some reason we've been getting a lot of views on our channel lately, uh, way more than usual when they break it down by percentage. And what really made that weird is I haven't done a video in months. And I've been getting a lot of emails from people wanting to know what's going on, if we're all right. Yeah, there's just been a lot of things going on. So I can't explain the influx of views lately. I don't know if it's just spring and people are ready to get outside. Where we are, it's not really happening yet. Part of the reason there hasn't been a video, there's numerous reasons. Uh, our weather here has just been horrible. Um, another reason is... A lot of you guys know I got hurt in 2020. I finally went back to work last fall. I did an internship, uh, Fortune 500 agricultural company, and luckily enough got hired on in December. So working with growers and farmers and trying to learn a new career in your mid thirties, uh, it's taken a lot out of me mentally. Just, um, I don't like being the person that doesn't have all the answers and I have a lot of learning to do. But on the positive side, I work with a great team and some amazing agronomists, and they're gonna help me along the way. But I, that got me thinking today, I was like, man, I really gotta do a video. I gotta let people know that I haven't died. There's just been a lot going on. So the weather, starting a new job. Uh, I think, as I was saying, one of my growers told me today, since uh, the beginning of April, he's gotten about four inches of rain at his place. We had rain all last week, it dried up today, it's supposed to get another inch tomorrow. Um, so we get on that verge of getting guys in the field and then it just stops. Luckily most all of our wheat acres are done, we're trying to focus on some dry spreading and getting some burn down on, and the weather is just not cooperating. Another thing is we just had some family stuff um, going on, it's just busy, um, kiddos back in sports and we're starting to mess around with uh, a show heifer and showing some cattle. And life just gets out of control. Uh, a few weeks ago, we went to the Ohio Beef Expo, and that was a whole fiasco. Some of you know, um, we got an Airbnb in Columbus, Ohio. 2.30 in the morning, someone tried breaking in, um, actively kicking down the door, trying to get into the Airbnb. So I thought my law enforcement days uh, were over and thought my time of being in a position where maybe having to take someone's life was over. And uh, no, just threw me right back in that situation. So that was scary for pretty much everyone involved. Kiddo was with us, Amber, another couple. So trying to deal with that, um, most everyone got an infection from the hot tub. So that was just a whole big fiasco. Had to take Kenzie to go see an infectious disease doctor um, over the course of a week or two. So it's just been a little bonkers. But I got thinking, I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of comments. I miss you guys. I know we started this kind of family here on YouTube. And I got some videos coming out soon. One of them is on this bad boy behind us. I was going to do a video the day I got this thing. I did some TikToks on it. But I really got thinking, you know, I want to put this thing through its paces. I want to pull it down the road empty. I want to pull it down the road when it's filled. Um, this is a mobile grain bin and you can pull down the road uh, at highway speeds. So I've had this thing about two months and it has been a game changer around here. For me doing chores, kiddo doing chores, um, as far as storage is about half the length of a gravity wagon but still holds more than a hundred bushel gravity wagon. This is made by CNB Farm and Outdoors. Thanks for the hat, guys. Um, I ordered this. I ordered some panels a few months ago, and we're going to do a full-length video on this. We're going to do some shorts on it. This thing, if you have cattle or horses where you're feeding bulk feed um, or just need a bulk storage place, this thing is amazing. On the back, there's a trap door that slides up and down, but I'm not going to get too into it because there's going to be a full video coming out on that. Another big thing, uh, when we bought this property, Amber wanted a golf cart. We had a golf cart when we were kids. We'd ride all over hell, go visit all the local farmers. Um, back then, you know, the sheriff would pull up, ask if we were okay, and ma make sure we weren't drinking and driving. We were like 12 years old, so laughing. And um, Amber kind of missed that. She says, hey, I kind of want to get a golf cart again. And the stars kind of aligned on that, so there'll be a video. We did not buy a golf cart, but we bought something similar. 
uh, way cooler, which is kind of funny. Um, I know you guys, if you watch these channel, this channel, I joke around a lot with my wife. She is amazing. She's way out of my league. Um, I even tell her that she tells me I'm an idiot, but we were discussing some things on the property and now four years ago when we bought this property right before I got hurt, we bought the Kubota tractor a week after we closed on the house. I think we closed on Tuesday. I picked the tractor up the following Monday or Tuesday. And this Kubota L3901 has been everything we needed it to be when we thought what we were going to use it for back then. As time goes, things change. I was kind of hinting to Amber that it's time to upgrade the tractor. Um, we need something with a larger lift capacity. So I wanted to do that. Amber wanted a golf cart. We compromised and got neither. So uh, you got to love marriage. But no, Amber is fantastic. And uh, we went and bought this item. And guys that I know were like, your wife had to talk you into buying this. Are you feeling okay? And I have to say, using this thing the last two weeks, um, yeah, we probably should have bought one way sooner. I talked to Tractor Talk with Gary. Gary's a great guy out in Iowa. If you haven't checked his channel out, go check him out. Uh, he messaged me. I sent him a picture before I even came home from the dealership with it. And Gary called me the next day. And he goes, you are going to use that thing way more than you think. I go, I don't know, Gary. Like, uh, it really doesn't fit. It, you know, it doesn't have a lift on it. I, you know, I can't clean stalls with it. Um, I can't unload pallets of feet off the truck. But I have to say, I hope my wife doesn't see this video. But uh, that thing's growing on me quite a bit. So there'll be a full-length video on this. I know CMB Farm Outdoors are waiting on me to do a video on it. Uh, but I really wanted to put it through its paces. I wanted to get, you know, my opinion and kiddo's opinion and my wife's opinion um and when i'm busy at work kiddo ends up doing a lot of these chores so i wanted something that was easier for her i'm tired of dealing with bags we most of our property is a woods i was buying bulk feed a ton at a time in bags and the uh raccoons were getting into it and the possums it was just making a mess no matter how we'd store it no matter what bins we put them in and so far nothing's been able to get in that so that's about it guys i just want to kind of fill you in on what was going on recently um jingles that pony we bought kiddo last year he went uh to a horse barn where my mom's at she put 30 days on him uh, he just had some bad habits um that we needed to get fixed out but yeah it's uh i got some emails people want to know how the new job was going and it's just it's a day-by-day -day basis some days you know i'm stressed out about it some days i think i have a good grasp and then the next day I'm back at square one, feel like a kid on the first day of kindergarten, a little intimidated. But I have a great group of growers I'm working with. Uh, some of them have already become pretty good friends. And you know what, that's all you can ask for. But back to the weather thing, um, we were planning on making a kind of show area for kiddos, 4-H projects, her cattle in the horse side of the barn. We've had so much water, their pens are dry, but the pastures were flooded. So now I have her uh, show bull and her show heifer are actually in two horse stalls we're not using right now. And um, buying all the equipment to show cattle was, uh, I knew it was expensive. Um, horses are expensive too, but uh, it's just a lot more equipment involved when it comes to showing cattle than horses. So it's just, uh, everything's been an adjustment this last, 12 months has been a huge adjustment in my life, um, wrapping up college and doing all this stuff. But keep this video short, just letting you guys know, hopefully this weekend the weather, the, the weather, the weather cooperates. It's probably going to be wetter. Uh, hopefully the weather cooperates. I got some videos coming out and there's probably going to be a few of them back to back to back. Some update videos on different things. Um, I still want to do a video running some cattle through this shoot with AeroQuip. Last time we did it, the weather was just absolutely horrible, but it needed to be done. So we didn't get footage there. And a shout out to AeroQuip. I ran into Luca and his brother at the Ohio Beef Expo. Luca was very instrumental on us getting this kind of customized small working area that fit in the small space I gave them. And I think AeroQuip knocked it out of the park. So that's what's coming on. We'll have a shoot video. Um, we'll have a video on the item we bought and how that came to be kind of a funny story and a video a lot of people have been asking about uh, they saw the TikTok on this mobile grain bin this does hold 6,500 pounds depending on test weight you know 56 pound bushel your 
105 to 116 bushel of corn, which lasts us about 80 days feeding out four uh, feeder steers right now. So that's it, guys. I just want to say hello. I did not die. Uh, I did not disappear from the earth. We were in totality during the eclipse last week, actually a week ago today. Uh, it was actually very cool. I'm glad that Amber and Kiddo and I got to see it as a family. Um, the next one won't go over this part of Ohio till 2099, I think they said. So Kiddo probably still be alive. Uh, I definitely won't be. Uh, tell you that right now. So take care, everybody. We will catch you on the next one. I know the sun's going down. I just got done mowing the yard. The lighting is not perfect. And that heifer over there is being a heifer. She's already had her dinner, but still going crazy. So we will talk to you on the next one. Take care, everybody. God bless and make smart decisions.